for me, we need to forget all this stuff about being law-abiding. Forget it. It's rubbish. I tell you what you have to obey if, if, if we're going to get a decent world here. We have to obey our natural instincts of basic fairness, basic justice, and basic integrity. Now, if a law fulfills that criteria, I have no problem with it. And that, that's fair enough. But if that law is not designed to provide justice, uh, a benefit to the community, uh, integrity or fairness, but actually to destroy all of them, what the heck are we doing obeying that law? It has no basis in moral uh, 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 justice, therefore, what are we obeying it for? Beam me up, Scotty, please. People have given up any connection to consciousness, and they've got the rule book, and they've just inserted it into a slot, and that then filters all their sense of reality. Okay, you bring it back. Basic fairness, basic justice, basic integrity. fact that the moon can't be a natural body it's um, the way it's constructed the size of it where it is and everything and you know you um, you're born into this world and you tend to accept what was here when you arrived as well that's how it is this is one of the dangers now with um, young children and young people who are being born into a world with ever greater surveillance and control and all the rest of it um, we are the last generations, for the moment, um, that have the ability to see um, what it was like to what it's become. Young people now are being born into what it's become, and that will become their norm, their starting point. And so, one of the things we have to question um, is all preconceived ideas about everything. Because when I started to read about the moon, um, you know, you, you're born and there's the moon and it goes through its cycle and where's the moon, mate, isn't it? And then when you start to question it, you go, whoa, I never knew that. Um, first of all, scientists have no idea where the moon came from. One of the things you find when you, you research this stuff in many subject areas is what is perceived and indeed presented as scientific fact turns out to be someone's bloody theory that has become alleged fact through sheer repetition. As one scientist said, the, the only thing you can safely say about the moon is it's observational error. It shouldn't be there. It shouldn't be there. And then you start to look at it and, of course, two Russian scientists from the Soviet Academy of Sciences in the 70s wrote a, a very detailed article uh, for a magazine, a, 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 a Sputnik magazine, saying that the moon was actually a gigantic spacecraft, hollowed out spacecraft. You know, I feel, you know, it could be uh, constructed from scratch, if you like, or it could be a hollowed out planetoid. Because you know, this is a, a really important area of perception. If you want to put people in a box of, in terms of their sense of possibility, then, um, suppress the information that can give them uh, a sense of possibility outside of the limits you want them to have. And if you do that, then when something comes along, or someone like me comes along and says, this is happening well outside the box, people in the box have taken on this um, limitation of possibility. God, that's impossible, that's ridiculous. No, it's impossible for humans to do it, it ain't impossible to do 